So this is Droid 4, um, building up the heritage of the Droid family, Droid 2, Droid 3, etc. You'll notice some advancements now from Droid 3. You've got the great 4.0 display here, it's a QHD. Um, you've still got the slim design, we kept it as thin as possible here. Um, still, but still delivering a great QWERTY. On the back we've got some soft grip texture to kind of give it a really good feel in the hand, as well as a 1080p video capture and an 8 megapixel camera. Very, very similar specs to the Droid Razor. What we've done here though is we've actually packed in the QWERTY. This is a complete five row QWERTY with dedicated numbers row. We've um, laser cut every key to give it an edge, LED edge lighting to help you text or type anytime, day or night. We've specifically designed this to mimic a PC keyboard. We found that really, consumers really found this to be faster, easier to use, and less errors. So we've specifically designed it to balance that. We stretch it out a bit to give it a little more spacing and found the consumers really liked it a lot. Similar to the Droid Razor as well, it's got all the full functionality um, with Motocast, so being able to stream your media from your PC to here, um, gives you a safe alternative to uploading it to a cloud, it's very, very fast. Also, we've got a Smart Actions, again, Smart Actions enables you to kind of automate the routine. It gives you a chance to kind of customize the phone, set it to exactly what you want it to do, and do more with your phone. So let's go to Smart Actions. Here's some samples. For instance, workout. It can be anything triggered, can set up the action. So you get the headphones here, put it in, and it actually launches a music application. So there's a lot of other factors you can do. Something that's uh, unique to this is nighttime battery saver or battery extender. So say, for instance, your battery gets down to, um, you can set it to different settings. So, uh, battery level, for instance, you can set it to 70, 50, and as the battery goes down, lower, 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 you can set different rules that then slowly maximize that battery, so you can squeeze as much juice out of it as you can. What's the uh, processor in this one? 1.2 gigahertz dual core. Okay. So it's a full gig of RAM. Oh. Um, really good, a great browsing experience, a lot of great widgets, as you can see, and the UI flows quite easily. You can see kind of hands back and forth. But yeah, this is And with 4G LTE connectivity as well, so that was one thing with the Correct. original Droid line. And that's a big, that's the yeah, big one from, from Droid 3. Does it uh, still have global roaming capability, do you know? Uh, this does not. Okay, does not, okay. But yeah, so this is Droid 4, great 40, 4G LTE, um, and a very compact device. It's a great looking device, and uh, coming soon to Verizon. You can watch on PhoneDog.com for continuing coverage at Pepcom and at CES in Las Vegas. Thanks for watching.